I know, I said I'd be gone for a week cause of finals, but I wasn't familiar with my own game. These finals are so easy, I have spare time. So that's the first thing I lied about. Second thing, I got my new chair. Old chair will forever be in the background, I'll never get rid of it. Even though I don't know why, it never served me well. But, um, you know, it, it's a sentiment, I'll always keep it there. Anyways, topic of the day, chapter 1105. Now, to be fair, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, I might post it in a week, but you'll have to know that I'm recording this during exams, the grind doesn't end. Anyways, chapter 1105, I don't feel like doing a full chapter review because this is practically just gonna be identical to the 1104 review. It's like the same stuff is happening, nothing really new. But what I do wanna talk about is this mystery ship that's pulling up. So this will be a rather short video, but I don't exactly have the luxury of time. Okay, actually, before I get into that, I just wanna talk about the last page where Sanji flies up to save Bonnie. And then, oh my god, Saturn's sister says, how suitably ironic. You threw away your life so that your daughter could live, and now her life will be taken away by your clones. A fitting fate for a squirming insect. Your struggle was truly the height of folly. Or folly, folly, I don't know. Let's search up what folly means. Well, I, I can probably understand. A foolish act, lack of good sense, foolishness. The original translation in the leaks called it the pinnacle of stupidity. I think I would have liked that more than the height of folly. Pinnacle of st stupidity just sounds better. It sounds like a better insult. The height of folly just sounds like a British insult. <laughs> sounds like something a British guy would say to you. That is absolutely the height of folly. Shut up. Anyways, I'm gonna just call this the pinnacle of stupidity. And we also get Luffy laying down. The marines swarming him, but this guy could not care less. This is Emperor Luffy. He just gets up. They're finished. Anyways, the thing we're talking about today... I can never be on topic. We failed to neutralize that escaping vessel. We, we have to report this to Kizaru-san. He has to know that they're heading for Egghead. And I find it cool how it shows us the wreck again, but then it zooms into the uh, marines flag. That's actually like a cool reveal, I can't even lie. Fire revealed by Ora-san, uh, Ora-sama, or whatever, whatever, man. Crazy reveal. <sighs> Yo, why? I, I need Luffy in the background. I bought this just so it could be my background. Okay, what is ha- Oh, is it because my foot is on the desk? Okay, whatever, this will have to do. Okay, so this can realistically be, I think about like five different people, okay? Person numero uno, Blackbeard, for obvious reasons. He was fighting with Law, beat Law, he's now on his way. Right, because he was sailing. Um, Law was sailing this. I mean, Law was sailing this way. Sorry, uh, the the camera's like confusing me. Law was sailing this way. The straw hats are here, and then Blackbeard. Boy, this is so difficult to do on camera. Blackbeard's going here, so then he could be going to. I mean, he uh, uh, he could be going to the straw hats. So this could be Blackbeard, which I hope not. This could be the Revolutionary Army, which I doubt because they don't know that Kuma's an egghead. They don't even know why he turned into a cyborg. Um, unless they know that he turned into a cyborg at Egghead Island, maybe it could be the Revolutionary. I think, I think it really could be the Revolutionary, but they are all the way in the, whatever it's called, Chumbuckate Kingdom. And so unless it's Dragon's ability, you know, he's using Zawindu or some shit. So, you know, unless it's like Dragon using his wind abilities that he used in Lockdown, I don't see how they could have gotten there so fast. Another person that could be is Boa Hancock and Rayleigh. I doubt it heavily because it wouldn't make any sense for it to be them. Because how would they even know that the Straw Hats are there? How would they even know Saturn's there? Like, this isn't on the news or anything, right? Now, here is my insane theory. This could be... Wait, what was his name? I know his first name. Bart. Wait. Bart. Wait, how did I forget his name? This guy's the GOAT. Wait, this guy's the GOAT. Bartholomew. Oh, is that it? Bartholomew? Yo, I swear he had a last name. What? That's it, Bartholo Bartholomew? Bart whatever, man. This is difficult to pronounce. I swear he was like Bartholomew something. I'm not thinking of Kuma. Okay, I know Kuma's... Okay, whatever. I think this could be Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Whatever! Because... Okay, listen, this is the next morning, and while I was editing the video, I was so mad at myself 
first of all, okay, why is the light like this? Oh, whatever, man, whatever. How did I forget Bartolomeo's name? This is what I want to know. How did I forget Bartolomeo's name? And when I found his name, why was I calling him Bartolomeo? What was going through my mind? And I knew he wasn't Bartolomeo Kuma. Why did I think he had the second name? Why did I think... <sighs> Whatever, it's Bartolomeo. I know it's Bartolomeo. I've always known it was Bartolomeo. And this will never happen again. I apologize. He had... Luffy's uh, Viva card, I'm pretty sure. And in Wano, Luffy technically died. So the Viva card must have burnt up. And Bartholomew is heading towards Wano. But, you know, Egghead is right next to Wano. So he's passing through Egghead. This could very well be the Straw Hat's fleet. If it is, who I think it is, I will personally go to Oda's attic or basement, wherever he draws, and do some... I'm gonna give him a big hug, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him the biggest hug ever if he brings back Bartholomew and the Straw Hat Fleet. Now this is very far-fetched to think it's the Straw Hat Fleet, but again, Oda is very unpredictable. I don't think I've ever successfully predicted anything. It's Like this guy, I feel like he teases something and then looks at the most common answer and then purposely just gives like the most unexpected result. Even if not, that's not what he wanted, even if he wanted what the fans wanted, he just does the opposite to make sure nobody knows. This guy, you'll never know his next move. So, so far, Blackbeard, uh, Boa Hancock slash Rayleigh, which I don't really think so. Let's remove this from the category. Most likely, uh, Blackbeard, uh, Revolutionary Army, Straw Hat Fleet. Now, it couldn't be uh, Law and Beppo. Hold up. Give me a second. We failed to utilize this. Okay, now here's another thing that confuses me. It says that they failed to neutralize the escaping vessel, but it says somebody else is on the way. So does that mean that the escaping vessel defeated the marines, or that while the marines were trying to neutralize the escaping vessel, somebody neutralized the marines? Because if that is the case, then it could be Law and Beppo. It could also be Shanks. It could be anyone. Why am I making this video? I have... No clue, no hints, no context as to who it would be. Like, I'm trying to think. I was trying to shorten it to, oh, who would destroy a marine vessel? Like, I'm trying to think of a pacifist. But Boa would definitely destroy a, a whole navy ship for Luffy. Blackbeard would do it for fun. Maybe Shanks wouldn't do that. Unless it's to save the escaping vessel. But even then, I don't think Shanks would straight up fight the marines since he has so many connections there. Since he is a celestial dragon, I don't know why people don't talk about the fact that he's officially a celestial dragon. Like his last name was revealed in uh, Film Red. And then we saw the... Uh, I forgot the name of the island. Uh, God Valley. We saw that the celestial dragons that were there had the same last name as Shanks. Like we know he's a... Celestial dragon. Yeah, it might not be Shanks. I don't think it's Shanks. If it is, I don't know why he would destroy a marine vessel like that. Could it be Mihawk? Wait! Wait, this could be Mihawk! Wait, look at the panel! Oh, uh, why am I saying that? I'ma put up the panel in front of you. Look at the ship, it's been cut in half. Wait, but there's fire coming out. This is not Mihawk. <laughs> Wait, but this could be Mihawk because it's broken in half. Like, back in the East Blue. This could be Mihawk! This could be the Cross Guild! Mihawk and Crocodile and... Uh, buggy, who cares? Wait, this might be Cross Guild. Oh, wait a second! I think I might be onto something. Wait, let me, let me, let me go closer and get a detailed look. Okay, I don't know. The ship is too destroyed to be Mihawk. But again, I don't know if Oda would pay attention to detail like that. I think he just... Honestly, Oda's art has been lacking recently. I, I'm sorry to say that, but it really has. Oh man, who is it? Anyways, I'm not getting anywhere with this video. Oh, you know who it could be? It, wait, is the escape... People who are wondering what the escape vessel is, don't you think the escape vessel is all the CP agents that were trapped in Vegapunk's basement? Like, where are they right now? Or did they meet up with the Marines and switch sides again? I don't remember. I don't remember what happened to those dudes. Could they be the ones escaping? I don't even know no more, man. Oh, and I am so disappointed in Kizaru. Fine, don't don't fight Saturn, that's okay. But why is he doing the most? He is doing the most to ensure the Straw Hats and Vegapunk's defeat. Where is it? Let me see this. Where is it where he where he's crying? Well, first I felt bad that this dude was crying, but 
don't even care anymore. You're doing it to yourself. Okay, well, no, I do feel bad. I can't. I thought you were only after my life. Isn't that enough to end this madness? Why are you doing the Saturn? The most cutting edge research of all of the scientific fields can be found on the egghead. Destroying it will set us back an entire century. Please call off this buster call. Vegapunk is being humbled by saying a century. Because compared to everything else we've seen in One Piece, Egghead would send them back a millennial. Millennium. Millennial? Millennial? Ah, whatever, man. Then he says, Kizuru, I'm begging you. And then Kizuru is looking down. Mm. Pen, pineapple, apple pen looking. And then you might still be hiding something. Bro, kill yourself! Can I say that on YouTube? I'm going to just remove the audio where I said, kill yourself! <laughs> I'm keeping this in. Please don't age restrict me. Please, please don't take it down. And then uh, either, either way, we have no need for further advancement. And then this donkey says, why is he so ugly? Oh my God, Vegapunk is so ugly. But I love him. But he's so clapped. Who did this to the poor guy? But what about humanity? I don't know, Kizaru, I'm begging you. And Kizaru's pursing his lips. <laughs> Why does he look like? As a matter of fact, my toe healed from last time. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what face is making. I should have bought my shaded sunglasses. At this rate, I'm going to embarrass myself. That just help! Why are you doing this to them? Why are you putting them through all of this? At the very least, like act useless or something. The Kuma was about to escape. Kuma was this close to escaping and getting grazed. And then this guy caught the vacuum seal. Why did this happen? Like this guy could have gone after Luffy or something. Luffy is not his friend. Oh, but Luffy's the main character. I forgot. This is Luffy's world and they're just living in it. This guy lives rent free on my wall. Can't even do anything about it. I tried charging him. Turned himself into a con. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe and in the comments below, Tell me who is coming to either save the straw hats or finish them. My personal prediction is either the revolutionary army, even though that doesn't make like much sense. Like how would they know he's there? Unless they already knew he was turning into a cyborg at Egghead. Like th them getting there isn't my issue because, you know, uh, Zawindu, this guy can just fly through the air and probably get them there. But my issue is how they knew. But maybe they knew he was at Egghead. I'll let it slide. So my prediction is Revolutionary Army or Bartholomew Kuma. I mean, oh my God. B uh, Bar Barta Bartomeleo, Bartolomeo, Bar Bartolom. Yeah, but more realistically, it's either Revolutionary or Blackbeard. Anyways, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, going through finals and I'm still making content. <laughs> the guy never ends, man. Bye-bye. See y'all in a few days. Wait, I look like Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> Why was he in Epstein's island? Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye.